crazy pixel. I feel like Blasphemous released at a great time. The 2D action game borrowed the punishing Souls-like difficulty and added some unique gameplay elements. Players will be able to focus on survival using a variety of abilities and equipment. Still, they would also need to learn to traverse through an environment reminiscent of a Metroidvania. Now, developer The Game Kitchen has doubled down on their love for gothic 2D action by launching Strife and Ruin. However, the result is just as unique as the base game as the developers have given fans a punishingly difficult set of stages that feature timed platforming and navigation. Blasphemous Strife and Ruin begins after meeting Miriam, who explains that you must travel to collect shards so she can continue her journey. She can't do it herself because she cannot travel through the portals that lead to the shards, so you jump in and set off. The first level is pretty much a tease as players who have a basic idea of how to move through the game will find their way through the first goal. I love this because I was under the impression that they would be all like this, but the other shards are scattered at four different places on the map and it's up to you to go to search for them. Each level increases in difficulty and will test your knowledge of the game's various traversal mechanics, including wall jumping, lantern jumps, and platforming. The timing in these sections is punishingly tight. You are sure to die a number of times during each stage. This is mainly because the team thought it would be fun to lay traps everywhere, but it ends up being all a part of the experience. The level designs are awesome and I found myself eager to continue trying. You wouldn't expect so much to happen when the timer is counting down just three minutes, but the developer proved that a lot could happen in that short amount of time. This time Time limit is also what made me want to continue since if they think I should be able to clear it in 3 minutes then maybe the end is just a little further than my furthest attempt. I believe that most of the stages are fair, but they require a lot of trial and error. Sometimes I would think that I would be in the clear and then spikes will launch out of the wall for a clean kill. You never feel safe in these stages and I thought the change of pace for such a meticulous action game was a fun distraction when compared to the lore filled world awaiting you on the other side of the portal. Once you collect all the shards, you'll get a special present from Miriam, but I wouldn't want to spoil that here. Still, I wish that there were different music tracks for each level. It could be because I heard the song for hours while I completed the DLC, but I did get tired of the upbeat guitar track after a while. Blasphemous Strife and Ruin is currently free for all players, so I encourage you jump in and give it a shot if you haven't played the base game after completion. This may even be what new players need to jump in into purchasing the game and test their own resolve against the nightmarish action. I had a lot of fun with the DLC, and I hope to see more from this world and the developer. Blasphemous is available now on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Thank you for watching. Newsy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.